let's go ahead and discuss politics, which is our favorite topic, right? Tommy Tuberville, former Auburn football coach. He won the Republican primary for Senate in the state of Alabama last night over Jeff Sessions. Uh, he had not lost in his entire political career, Jeff Sessions, uh, 30 years or 30 plus years. And Tommy Tuberville took it away from him. And while that is not super surprising, obviously, incredibly well known name, he aligned himself with Donald Trump, and that goes a well, long that's way. It. Yeah. Session. We we live in the South, and it's very much a does Trump support you or not? Because that's yeah. that's how we got the governor that we have. Oh yeah, and and many other people in in our state is Trump backed them. We are a Trump state for the most part. Alabama is a Trump state. If Trump gives you the nod, you're going to win. In most cases, you're probably going to win free running away. Yes, I agree. So with that said, that's not the most interesting thing that happened last night. Uh, the Alabama Democrats Twitter account absolutely blasted Tommy Tuberville at one to, well before and after he won the primary. I mean, well, they, they, they were pretty sure he was going to win it because you yeah. don't want to waste those bullets. You you kind of wanted him to win because you think he's beatable. Oh yes, oh a hundred percent. Um, so Doug Jones is the guy that won it last time. Uh, whenever that was, two years ago, I guess it was. Um, he won two years ago, and he is the incumbent. He's running again for the Alabama Democrats, which, again, not typical that a Democrat wins, but he was going up against a, a not good dude at all. Well, so. there, there lies the issue that the reason we have a Democrat in Alabama, which is shocking to begin with, is because the other person was – Pretty awful. Yes, he was. He was pretty bad. What was it? Was it Roy Moore? I guess that too yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of, a lot of underage, yeah, young lady things going uh, on there. Just a, just a mess. So, with that said, the Alabama Democratic Party decided to tweet out some crazy ish, and I, I had to bring it up. I on thought the show. some of these were hilarious. This is fantastic. All right, first, some of them are spot on because they attack his character correctly by the way they didn't lie about it and some of them have nothing to do with anything political at all yes uh agreed agreed so with that said let's go ahead and roll through some of these first tweet he lost his last iron bowl 36 to nothing collects millions of dollars in pension money from hard-working alabamians and built investors based on their trust in his investment advice tubs dugs is going to run through you like fred tally at an 11 a.m jefferson pilot game Fred Talley, former Arkansas player. <laughs> that was uh, that was a pretty That's good. Fantastic. One. The first two points of that are completely irrelevant to anything oh, at all. Absolutely, absolutely. Like they they have nothing to do with anything. No, the the pension, the Iron Bowl, all that. Now the right. the built uh, investors based on their trust in his investment advice. Yeah, if you're taking investment advice from Tommy Tuberville, like, well, that's it. If you're you taking investment like, advice from a football coach, there's a reason they're a football coach. You do know the people at Wall Street make their salaries look ridiculous, oh, right? Yes, a hundred percent. If you're good at Wall Street, yeah. saving ten million dollars ain't shit. Now you got that right. Uh, with with the Iron Bowl comment, uh, Doug Jones, it, I will I will go ahead and tell you this from experience. There are significantly more Alabama fans than Auburn fans in the state. Well, there yeah. just are. So, if you are trying to... Pandering to the base. Let yeah. me tell you this, too. It doesn't help that that Trump messed up Saban's name. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. That, that doesn't help him in the big election. That's a, No, it really does not. Lou, really does. Lou Saban is, uh, is not going to win any awards in the state of Alabama. I liked it. I found it hilarious. I oh, really I, AL.com said that it was not a uh, an accident at all. And I I think oh, I might a shot at Nick? I I think that's what uh, I think that's what they were saying. Listen now, Pence is hanging out with listen with Ed he's back in an Auburn guy. Pence is hanging out with oh, maybe maybe Trump's not a not a saving the guy. Hey, it, cheers to it. That's fine with me. I'm all right with that. <laughs> Uh, the next one, oh, next one here was from four days ago. It said Tommy Tupperville said he'd leave Ole Miss quote in a pine box. Days now later, this, oh yeah, this is attacking his character. Yes, days later he left for Auburn. Never told he, his players goodbye. 
at all. I mean, really, yeah. I'm going to be here. This is not one of those things where all coaches lie about stuff. This was he had a deal done and he just had to sign the paperwork. Oh, yeah. And said it. Yeah. And, and it was it was going to happen. And instead, he leaves. He goes to Auburn. It said uh, at Auburn, he had a wandering eye every year. And that is true. I mean, he, he was connected to a lot of jobs. Uh, at Texas Tech, he ditched a recruit during dinner to leave for Cincinnati. Wonder who he's lying to now. Yeah. I mean, they went all that's in. Fantastic, on this. That's a fantastic tweet. That's oh, yeah. That's a fantastic tweet. Hey, politics are dirty, man. <laughs> they go after it. Uh, so that's, that was the second one. Now we've got the third one. Senator Jones got justice for four little girls that were murdered during church by the Klan. Tommy Tuberville thought a one-game suspension was enough when one of his players raped a little girl. Which one cares more about your daughter's future? That that is, is brutal. That's absolutely brutal. And then it links to uh, to an article about it. To the article. Oh no, yeah, all of this stuff is going to get linked to articles. Oh yeah, I mean this was. Um, it, now I'll, I'll say this: Tommy Tuberville, not the cleanest football coach out there. So we've got some of these. We've got one more here. Um, we, we got a few of these. It, there's going to be more. There's going to be so many more because he was a coach for a long time in the SEC. Of yes. course you've got stuff like that. You've got a ton of skeletons in your closet if you are a head coach in the SEC and you were trying to win every year. Bottom line. Uh, the last one says, you, scared of your own shadow, can an incumbent Democratic senator win in a red state? Us, ready to storm hell with a super soaker. Tuberville couldn't score a touchdown for two weeks with four first-rounders on his offense. He also lost to Vanderbilt. <laughs> I mean, they are just absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. If you're the Auburn football coach, by the way, you should never lose to Vanderbilt. Like, I don't, I don't care if James Franklin's there. I don't care if Bobby Johnson's there. That's who we lost to, by the way, Bobby Johnson. Uh, and it was when game day was in town. I mean, it was nuts. So Why was game day at Vanderbilt, though? Hang on. Because they started 5-0. and premise, But if game day's at Vanderbilt, then this is not a standard Vanderbilt team. It, it was pretty standard. I mean, they opened up the season. Then why the hell is game day there? Well, they, they opened the season 4-0. and They played a, a bunch of nobodies, but they I think they had beaten, like, Kansas State or somebody that season. And then Auburn you know came in town. Game for them to go to? That, is a, that is a damning indictment on college football, by the way. Oh, absolutely. But you, you've seen some of the places. I mean, you know. They, they've gone to some questionable spots, but they want to try and hit every college campus or every every P5 campus at least. Um, so that that's what their goal was that season. It was the first time Vanderbilt had started off 4-0, 5-0, whatever it was. But they, they won that game. I think they got to 6-0, and and then they lost all six of their last six games. So it was a typical Vanderbilt year. Uh, but it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything crazy. But, yes, uh, Tommy Tuberville figuring out, like, yes, we understand head coaching in the SEC – is uh, is kind of dirty. It ain't nothing like politics in the South. It it just ain't. Not even close. Not even close. So we will be watching that. Uh, I guess in November. I guess it's uh, the same same election cycle as the presidency. So we will figure into that. Let's keep talking about some college football, though. I'm uh, 